Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. In the previous session, we discussed about what are typecasting functions and we discussed different typecasting functions like str, boll, that is bool, complex, int, float and different rules of typecasting. In this session, we are going to discuss about operators and different operators which are provided by Python. Operator is a special symbol which performs specific operation on operands. As I defined, operators are special symbols in Python which carry out some specific task. And that task, it performs on operands. So as I said, the value that the operator operates on is called operand. As an illustration, 2 plus 3, 2 and 3 are the values on which the operation is taking place. Therefore, 2 and 3 are operand and plus is the operation which is taking place on that 2 and 3. Therefore, plus is a operator. Note that the operands can be variables or constants, which we also call literals. Literals represent themselves and variables will represent the value which is stored in that variable. Operators can be unary, that is they operate on one operand or they can be binary, that is they operate on two operands. All operators have precedence and associativity. This we are discussing it from the school days in algebra. Precedence means the priority of the operator. That is in an expression, which operation is going to take place first? That is the order of evaluation is decided by precedence. Whereas associativity is the direction of evaluation. Associativity comes into picture when all the operators have same precedence. Therefore, we consider whether left to right evaluation or right to left. Now I'll list out some operators which are provided by Python. And if suppose you want to override the precedence, that is, if you want to change the standard rule, then we can use bracket. Example, if I have written A plus B into C, so according to the rule, first B into C will take place. But if you want to perform A plus B first, then put bracket on A plus B. Now I'm listing out all the operators which Python is supporting. First is arithmetic operator which we are seeing it from the school days in algebra. Second, assignment operator. Third, comparison operator. Fourth, logical operator. Fifth, identity operator. Membership operator. And last, bitwise operator. We'll discuss all these operators one by one. To start with, first is arithmetic operator. Arithmetic operators are used for performing mathematical operations or you can say algebraic operations. The basic requirement is all these operators operate on numeric value. But there are some exceptions in case of Python. I'll list out all those exceptions also. Arithmetic operators are used to perform common mathematical operations. Or you can say algebraic operation. In this table, I have listed out all the operators and the way in which we have to use them. That is, first operator is plus called addition. X plus Y. So it will add value of Y with X and the result is return. Minus, that is subtraction. It will subtract Y from X and the difference is return multiplication that is star it will multiply x with y and return the result division that is slash it will return you the quotient modulus operator that is percent it will return the remainder two consecutive star that will act as a exponent raised to this is generally not in c c plus plus or java those who are familiar with those languages PHP 5 onwards it is supported. JavaScript also supported in some version. 
then we have two slash which is observed in python only that is floor dude i'll tell you the difference between single slash and two slash now only the exceptions that these all operators by default are operated on integer float and boolean without any exception means all these operators you can easily apply on integer float and boolean because booleans in python are implicitly one and zero in case of complex this operator is applicable for complex also only the exception is floor division we cannot apply complex on floor division and in case of string we cannot apply these all operators on string except plus only the criteria is x and y both should be string it will return you concatenation of x and y and in case of multiplication if one is a string and another is integer it will act as a repetition so again to recall it these all operators are applicable for int float boolean without any restriction for complex floor operation is not allowed and string only plus when x and y both are string and in case of multiplication one is a string and another is an integer which will act as a repetition operator now to illustrate the working of this operator let's see if i have created x as 5 and y as 2 and i'm writing x plus y it is returning its addition x minus y subtraction x into y it is returning multiplication now x divided by y i'm using single division now note that irrespective the type of x and y the result is always float means if x is integer y is integer then also the answer is float which is exception in other languages like c c++ java integer by integer is integer but here int by int is also float to so see instead of answer 2 it will give 2.5 now if i write x modulo y it will return remainder but the rule of remainder is x minus y into floor of x divided by y now what do you mean by floor i'll discuss it but this is the internal formula for modulo means whenever you write x modulo y you'll get the answer using this formula now x modulo y that is 5 mod 2 the remainder is 1 now if i write x 2 slash y it will return integer division means instead of returning 2.5 it will return 2 but that is called as a floor division floor division means after performing the normal division it will convert it to the nearest integer continuing with the discussion see x divided by y it is written you a float division that is 5 by 2 is 2.5 but if i write x 2 slash y it is going to return floor division floor division means whatever the simple division answer is it will be converted to the nearest integer but it is the nearest integer towards the lower side not the higher side that is not towards the ceiling side that is towards the floor side so 2.5 nearest integer towards the floor side is 2 but suppose if i would have written minus 5 by 2 the answer is minus 2.5 but the floor of minus 2.5 is minus 3 you can see this minus 5 2 slash 2 
the answer is minus 3. I guess it is clear to you. Now, if I write x 2 star y, it will give you 5 raised to 2. The answer is 25. Then, if I am writing double quote the plus double quote that, it is going to do concatenation. If I write double quote the into 5, it is going to repeat the 5 times and return a new string. Similarly, if I try to do addition of two complex, that is 3 plus 5j plus 6 plus 2j, it will return addition of these two complex numbers. But remember, we cannot do floor division on complex. True into true is legal. So I have listed out different possibilities to refresh as I said all these operations are legal for integer, float and boolean but for case of complex we cannot do floor division. As an illustration if you want if I write 3 plus 5j divided by 6 minus 2j it will give an error, type error, that is floor division is not allowed on complex. And in case of string, you can only do plus, that is concatenation. And in case of multiplication, one should be a string and other an integer. Continuing with the next type of operator, that is comparison operator. Comparison operator are for comparing two values. Comparison operator will always return the result as boolean, that is true or false. All comparison operators are applicable for integer, float, boolean, strings, but it is not applicable for complex. Comparison operators are used to compare two values. I have given a list of table. 2 double equal to, it will act as a equality. So if value of x and y is exactly same, it will return true, otherwise false. If x and y are not same, then this operator will return true. If value of x and y, if we compare it and value of x is greater than y, the result is true, otherwise false. x less than y, the result is true, otherwise false. x greater than equal to y, then true, otherwise false. And if x is less than equal to y, the result is true, otherwise false. And as I said, please note that these all operators are applicable for integer, float, string, boolean, but we cannot perform on complex. Just to show you illustration, suppose if I write 10 less than 20, it returns true. If I write double quote ram less than sita. It returns true. Why? Because alphabetically Ra comes before Sita. If you compare alphabets, R is before S. So the comparison result is true. This operator can be combined also in this way. Like I can write 10 less than 20 less than 6. Now, in this case, it will do operation from left to right, but unless and until all the results are true, the final result is not true. Like if 10 less than 20 and 20 also less than 6, then only the result is true. Now, in case why it comes false, because 10 is less than 20, 
but 20 is not less than 6. If I write 10 less than 20 and greater than 6. Now, is 10 less than 20? True. 20 greater than 6? True. Therefore, the result is true. I guess it is clear to you. If I write 3 plus 5j less than 6 minus 2j, it gives an error which I have already stated that this operator is not applicable for complex. And it is 100% legal to, to apply it on Boolean. True less than false is false because true is internally 1, false is 0. And therefore 1 less than 0 is false. To continue with, next we'll discuss about logical operator. Logical operators are for combining more than one conditions. Now, which logical operators Python support that I list you? And all these logical operators also evaluate to true and false. Logical operators are used to combine conditional statements. First is AND. Now, if the first condition and the second condition both evaluate to true, then AND also evaluate to true. So returns true if both the statements are true. Example I have given, if x is less than 5 as well as x is less than 10, then only the result is true. If x is less than 5 is false, the entire result is false. Second is OR. Now, when any one of the condition is true, the result is true. And NOT is the complement of the result. That is, if the result is true, then NOT will return false. And if the result of the statement is false, then NOT will return true. To illustrate, suppose if I have written 3 greater than 10 and 5 less than 20. Why it return false? Because 3 is greater than 10 is false. If I write not 3 greater than 10. Now 3 greater than 10? No, it is false. And false not is true. I guess it is clear to you. Now, before continuing with the next operators, we will see some programs on these operators and we'll try to recall some previous concepts also. There are a few more operators to be discussed. That's all for today. As always, keep learning, keep evolving. Share, like, subscribe. Please tell to your friends too. Thank you. Bye -bye.